When the diet drug Ally first hit store shelves in June, it was hailed as a wonder drug, a pill that could help dieters lose up to 50% more weight. But as sales soared, so did the number of postings in chat rooms from users complaining about side effects. A new commercial from the makers of the drugs is now on the air trying to answer the questions raised on those message boards. So bottom line, does it live up to its promises? ABC's Andrea Canning has more. I'm 100 pounds overweight. It's emotionally draining. I cry constantly. You know, at 24 years old, I weigh 243 pounds. For Stephanie Henderson, staying slim has been a lifelong battle. So when America's first FDA-approved non-prescription diet drug, Ally, came along seven months ago, bad diet, empty promises, accompanied by a $150 million ad campaign, I've been taking it for two weeks and I've already lost four pounds. Stephanie and millions of others raced to pharmacies to get their hands on what was touted as diet gold. Ally claims to block your body's absorption of fat in food. I was in line waiting for Walmart to open when Ally was introduced. Sales initially skyrocketed. Two million Ally starter kits were sold within the first four months with sales of $217 million. There's none available. It's just going like crazy all over. But one of the biggest pharmacy chains, Walgreens, says sales did slow, and the question remains. Seven months later, has the drug really helped people lose weight? Stephanie says allies seemed like a magic remedy at first, with a quick loss of 10 pounds. But after just four weeks, she says her weight loss plateaued and she started experiencing some unpleasant side effects that landed her in the emergency room twice. I wouldn't have control of my bowels. I would find myself running to the bathroom, leaving meetings, um, being in the car, and, and literally being stuck. She stopped the drug after six weeks and says within three months, the majority of her Ally MySpace support group had also given up. And all kinds of testimonials popped up in weight loss chat rooms. One user wrote, what they do not tell you is that you will have to take several changes of underwear everywhere you go. Others said, when they say to watch your fat intake, watch it, otherwise you will pay. I was on Ally for three weeks and followed the plan exactly. The scale did not budge. People had the same problems that I did, and it wasn't worth the expense and the trouble and the embarrassment to lose the weight. For Stephanie, Ally was not a magic bullet. Experts say sticking with a diet drug is not an easy task, not only because of potential side effects. The typical pattern for people on weight loss drugs is to go into it with a lot of enthusiasm. In some cases, people lose weight on the drugs. Uh, many people don't lose as much as they'd like, and they get discouraged and go off the drugs. Looking at this from Galaxo's standpoint, I think they have a very effective business model. Do I think it will make an impact on the nation's health? The answer is no. But Ally manufacturer GlaxoSmithKline says that Ally continues to surpass sales expectations and is helping people lose weight in the long term. The company and the FDA say there are proven results and that Ally, combined with healthy eating and exercise, can yield results of 50% more weight loss than dieting alone. It's an assist. It's a way to help you get a little bit of an edge on helping to lose weight. Jennifer Erickson says her active lifestyle in Colorado wasn't enough to drop the weight, but that the combination of working out, eating right, and taking Ally helped her lose 40 pounds since April. It was just so empowering to know that Ally was a tool I used, but it was, it was all me, all my sweat in my workouts, all my good choices, and I just use Ally to help me make those good choices. And as for those potential embarrassing side effects, the company says it's about controlling the amount of fat in your diet. If you abuse the drug, if you abuse the fat intake that you're eating, you're going to see a treatment effect. But Stephanie Henderson says she didn't abuse the drug and followed the directions. In the meantime, she has given up on diet drugs and has chosen the one diet that will never go out of style. No late night snacks, going to the gym three or four times a week, getting sick to lose weight. I finally realized it's just not worth it at all. Doctors say that even though some Ally users won't stick with the drug, they predict it's here to stay. The numbers seem to support that. Ally is expected to make $500 million in sales in its first year, and that is half of the entire billion-dollar diet aid market. And, Diane, it is now overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly the number one diet pill in America. Mm.